tired of being cold, sign our petition to make Riverdale fix the broken heating system. Hey, want to sign our petition? Sure. Thanks. Hey, Jesse, lunch is almost over. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. You got a lot more signatures today. I can't believe this. It's actually 11 degrees Celsius in here. Translation, please. 51.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cold. Yeah, it's the coldest indoor temperature reading this week. What? I've been collecting data. <laughs> well, you can go tell the principal all about it because we finally have 100 signatures. All right, let's go. Hello, Riverdale students. Just a friendly reminder, this week's pep rally will be Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. on the football field. There's only one week left for this year's fall food drive, so let's make this one count. Kayla, Jesse, how can I help you? Mr. Chang, I've been measuring the temperature inside every day and it hasn't gone above 13 degrees Celsius. And today, it was only at 11 degrees Celsius. I think there's a serious problem with the heating system. The problem is that it's broken. We have a petition signed by 100 kids at school saying that we need to get the heater fixed. We hope you'll take this matter seriously. I can do better than that. How would the two of you like to help me pick out a new heating system? For real? We all know the heater's broken. Do you want to see the options? Sure. sure. What we have here are two systems to heat the school using water that is at a higher temperature than the air in the school. That's interesting. I always thought heaters just used hot air and blew it around. The first proposal uses a water heater that heats a small tank of water to 39 degrees Celsius every day. Then that warm water is pumped into a bunch of pipes that heat the school. In the evening, when the water cools down, it's pumped back into the tank and gets reheated for the next day. That is so smart. This one's my favorite. Well, wait to hear both of them. The second proposal uses a large reservoir of warm 30 degrees Celsius groundwater. Every morning, water from the reservoir gets pumped into the pipes that heat the school. Then in the evening, the cool water is pumped out to make room for the warm water in the morning. This one's really cool too. I don't know, how could water from the ground be warm enough to heat our whole school? Well, if the water is warmer than the air temperature. I guess, but I don't even see how the heat from the water could get into the air for either system. Water and air are separate things. How would the heat go between them? Mm, that's a good question. Maybe, actually, I don't know either. Thank you for your help. I'll email you the plan so that you can take a closer look. I love hearing input from students, but lunch is over. Time for class. But we'd love to help more. Maybe me and Kayla could go research heaters in the library. Nice try. Off to class. Jesse, I have a Kim lab next period. You know I can never miss a lot. I know, I know. I was just joking.